Breaking leaked FBI text on Trump. Clinton probes expose an anti-Trump bias by Anth John Anthony for silence is consent. After the mainstream media relentlessly pushed the narrative that President Trump had ties to Russia, many Americans began to distrust them. Just recently, however, a series of texts between two FBI agents regarding the Clinton and Trump probes just came out and they're very eye-opening. Funny enough, after urging our government to investigate President Trump's relationship with Russia, it actually turned out that Hillary Clinton had way more ties than we knew of. She's been exposed as a liar, a fraud, and a sociopath for her dealings with Russia, but as many conspiracy theorists have suggested, this may only be the tip of the iceberg. According to the Washington Post, the former top FBI official assigned to special counsel Robert S. Mueller, the third's probe of Russian interference in the 2016 election, was taken off that job this summer after his boss discovered he and another member of Mueller's team had exchanged politically charged text disparaging President Trump and supportive of Hillary Clinton, according to multiple people familiar with the matter. Peter Strazak, as deputy head of counterintelligence at the FBI, was a key player in the investigation into Clinton's use of a private email server to do government work as Secretary of State, as well as the probe into possible coordination between the Trump campaign and Russia in the 2016 election. During the Clinton investigation, Sturzak uh, was involved in a romantic relationship with FBI lawyer Lisa Page, who worked for Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, according to the people familiar with the matter, who spoke on condition of anonymity because of the sensitivity of the issue. The extramarital affair was problematic, these people said, but a, of greater concern among senior law enforcement officials were text messages the two exchanged during the Clinton investigation and campaign season in which they expressed anti-Trump sentiment and other comments that appeared to favor Clinton. The people discussing the matter did not further describe the political messages between Sturzak and Page, except to say the two would sometime react to campaign news of the moment. Officials are now reviewing the communications to see if they show evidence of political bias in their work on the case, a review which could result in a public report, according to people familiar with the matter. Defenders of Page and Sturzak insisted the issue is overblown and that there was no misconduct between the two. The Post has repeatedly sought comment from Sturzak and Page, but got no response. The FBI in the office of the special counsel declined to comment. A friend of Page said there was no professional misconduct at issue in the matter, and she said Page left the Mueller team in July before any of the issues came to light. When the issue arose, Sturzak was taken off the Mueller team in August and he was given a job in the Human Resources Division of the FBI, widely reviewed as a demotion internally, according to people familiar with the matter. Page no longer works much with McCabe, these people said. At the time they left Mueller's group, no one publicly linked the two departures. For months, officials have refused to explain why Sturzak was re, uh, reassigned, but people familiar with the matter said it was ultimately Mueller's decision. Among federal law enforcement officials, there is a great concern that exposure of the text they exchanged may be used by the president and his defenders to attack the credibility of the Mueller probe and the FBI, more broadly according to the people familiar with the matter. Defendants of Sturzak and Page inside the FBI said that because there was no direct uh, supervisory role between Page and Sturzak in the, workplace, in the workplace, there 
wasn't anything professionally wrong about having an affair, but added they understood why Mueller would not want anyone engaged in such conduct on his team. For one thing, if a foreign intelligence agency learned of such an affair, they would try to use it as a means of blackmail, though there is no evidence anyone outside the FBI was aware of the relationship. The president, most vociferous uh, defenders in Congress have called for a special counsel to investigate how the FBI handled the Clinton probe and other Clinton-connected matters. Word of the text could give new fuel to those demands. The Clinton investigation formally ended in July of 2016 when former FBI Director James Comey announced he would recommend Clinton face no charges for her use of a private email server as Secretary of State, but the issue was resurrected in late October when Comey informed congressional leaders that the FBI had discovered new Clinton emails on a laptop uh, belonging to former Congressman Anthony Weiner, then the subject of a separate FBI investigation. Days later, Comey announced the emails on the laptop did not change the FBI's view of the case. How convenient, right? Clinton and her supporters say Comey's moves in October cost her the 2016 election. Really? No, it was your use of the private email server that caused your election loss. Plus, you would have lost anyway, I might add. Okay, where was I? Clinton and her... So yeah, okay. Uh, Clinton and her supporters say... Comey's moves in October cost her the 2016 election, and Trump and his Republican allies have used it to justify Comey's firing, that event that ultimately led to Mueller being appointed as special counsel. Mueller has so far charged four people in his investigation of possible, possible coordination between the Trump campaign and Russian officials, most recently former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. Of the four, two have pled guilty to lying to the FBI, Flynn and former Trump campaign advisor. During the Clinton email investigation, Page was a regular participant when Comey would hold skinny group meetings on the case, a small collection of advisors that gathered to address sensitive cases according to people familiar with the case. Current and former FBI officials say that Sturzak matter points to a larger unresolved issue facing the agency as it tries to investigate the president and make a fresh start with a new director, Christopher Wray. Much of the agency's senior leadership jobs are currently filled by people who were put in those positions by Comey, and Wray was yet to make any, has yet to make any significant changes at the top. But a major house cleaning by the new director is widely anticipated inside the Bureau. McCabe, the deputy director, has faced repeated questions from the White House and Republican lawmakers about whether he should have been involved in the Clinton case at all, given the hundreds of thousands of dollars in political donations made to his wife, a candidate for political office in Virginia by a key Clinton ally in 2015. You know what? This all stinks to the high heavens. Put her in jail and let's forget about the whole deal. And uh, meanwhile, get Mueller on a couple of charges while you're at it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.